Yeah, that's the, the bad thing is, you know, we can't, uh, we can't live forever, you know, but uh, it's really good. But we'll try. You know? We're going to try. <laughs> but the mountain logging days, you know, and the ferry boat days, and the commercial fishing days, you know, they, they uh, well, a lot of people get the, the wires crossed, you know, see. Another thing that I can't understand is why they don't fish herring anymore, you know. There's a lot of herring in the lake. And only the old-time fishermen like Albus Moe and Mel Erickson, they're the only ones that don't talk about the herring season anymore, see. Yeah. But the herring season always come on in November. It lasted until December. And, uh, <laughs> well, maybe it's because people don't eat herring anymore. Well, that's it. They, huh? don't, they don't eat them anymore. I don't eat them. <laughs> okay. Pickled herring. Well, you know, they make good pickled herring, but yeah. the, in the old days, the main thing, that they just salted them. Yeah. They salted them heavy, so so heavy, you know, that they wouldn't spoil. And then they used to ship out here by the boxcar load. Yeah. 40 ton in the boxcar. I know. And they went down to the southern states because the miners ate them down there, see? In other words, a lot of salt. That's yeah. what the miners needed because, well, they perspired so much, you know, the underground mines. That's what they said. Yeah. But heavens, when the freight train used to go out, five, six cars of salted herring yeah. for Alabama. Yeah. And now, nothing. No, nothing. Well, maybe you should get out there, John, start fishing for herring. <laughs> well, huh? there, there was plenty of them there. There might be a vacuum there for you to make a <laughs> sure. few extra bucks. <laughs> vacuum. <laughs> but anyway, that's one of the problems. We can't fish herring anymore. Yeah. Nobody will buy them. You know, John, getting back to your decoys. Oh, yes. Because yes, you were t you're talking, which... Now, you, which one were you, uh, you got over at the house? Because well, I'm interested well, in Well, the only one I got in my house is that Hood and Merganser. But anyway, there is an, an old lady in town that's got a little shop going downtown. Her name is Barbara Spencer. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of unique, you know. But anyway, she's uh, got grown-up children, and they wanted to, you know, run a shop. So they set up one. It's right on Broad Street, right across from the Standard Oil Station. Mm -hmm. And they come around about two weeks ago and bugged me for some decoys to sell. And that's where I got five of them down there. Down see? there, right. Yeah, but anyway, I get, they're still mine. You haven't sold them yet. You haven't sold them, so we can go down browse down there. Confiscate them, see? I'll confiscate them. Well, what about that golden eye that you were talking well, about? Well, that, well that's, down, I, that's down at Barbara Spencer's uh, that is Emporium. Too. Yeah, the golden eye. A nice little duck. Rita Van Der painted it, see? Have you ever gone to Rita Van Der Vendor's uh, She's gallery? good at painting your decoys. Oh, yeah. Rita, you know, she painted for me last winter, see? She painted that uh, loon that I got from you, yes, I think. Yes, didn't she? Yes, yes. She painted the loon. Rita did, see? And Rita's a good artist, but anyway, she's a, she wants to run her own business. Well, she's a businesswoman. You know? She's got a gallery. Open now. You better wrap in and just browse around. But paintings, you know, wall paintings. Yeah. No decoys. So you're not in production right now, then? Huh? No, I haven't produced no, for very little in June, maybe one. Well, you're not giving it up, though, are you? No, 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 I'm not giving it up, but I, I other things on my mind, too. You know, so. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I went fishing one day. I had to take time out and go fishing. See? And I didn't get no fish. No, I didn't get no fish. But, uh, you know, once in a while you got it. You got a variety, you know. Variety is a special life. Oh, and gardening, too, see? I had to put in that garden. First of June. Well, it's coming up, you know. In the back of your house there? Yeah, yeah. In the back of the house. Tell got some beans and carrots. Yeah. Oh, beans. Oh, beans. You know, they climb. Yeah. Climber. Remember that old story about back in the beanstalk? Yeah. Well, that's where that's where that come in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing the beans. <laughs> back in the beanstalk. Yeah. Well, anyway, I been busy. So you're not uh, you're not just ready to sit in the rocking chair. Huh? Oh no no I got a rocking chair but never use it you know. <laughs> no never use it never use it. But, uh, the other thing is I wanted to go fishing in Lake Superior, you know, for lake trout see, and I don't have no boat no more. So I've been bugging my friends that do got a boat you know. right across the street here. This guy got he got two boats outboard yeah. motor now. I've been bugging him to go trolling, and all I get is a yes. But that's as far as it goes. <laughs> yes. You don't get out there. But he don't go. See? No, he don't go. What about Julian Nelson? He's got the clutch there. <laughs> well, you bug him. <laughs> well, Won't he do it? Well, he don't want to do it either. Uh, see? Yeah. He don't want to do it either. <laughs> but I can't even get on Lake Superior to get a get a fish. Oh, my goodness. 
I don't know. Well, it's good to see you again. Well, me too. Yeah. Same here. I'm glad to well, see you. How long you. are you going to be in town? Tell me that now. All week. Oh, all right. Yeah. See? Oh, you mean all this week? Yeah. That's seven days. Yeah. Well, all right. We'll have to connect it. I'll, yeah. get, I'll, I'll take you into Barber Spencer's or I'll... You know, I can get we can go decoys. in there and see the decoys. Yeah, sure. Okay, can, see their latest we models. Can see the latest. The 1989 models. Yeah, I got a date on them. I Late date 88. Them. I'm early. dating them now. <laughs> Are you? Dating them. Yeah, well, we're supposed to date them. Yeah. A lot of people say, well, why don't you put the date on there? Well, you know, I started putting the date on. Oh, good. Because, well, anyway, nobody knows how old we are otherwise. That's right. Yeah. It'll be uh, collector's items. Well, sure. They already are. <laughs> You know, I get a lot of compliments on mine, well, on my I, house I, in I'm California. I'm glad to hear that. That's because, right. Because, well, I know they're... they're mighty who made this thing, you know? That's right. They're, I said, look underneath. Well, sure. Turn them over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you don't see that every day, you know. So. Yeah. Not every day. Morning at Maggie's. Yeah. Somebody... Well, hi, Elvis. How you doing? Nice to see you again. Yeah. We got the girls on the bench again. Okay. Yeah. We got Fern and Can we do it? Mary and okay. Fern's sister and okay. Acorn Gordon sitting okay. now, I think. I mean, you just nice have to, to see you, Fern. Oh, I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, John Hansen. Smart. What, you want me to stay dumb? <laughs> right. Fern's sister, Marlis. Fern. Fern's sister, Marlis. Nice to meet you. Well, I hope so. First, I got to ask you because I was trying to remember, what was your father's name? Patrick. No, the last name. Huh? Well, I don't want to be on that. God, you Why know, not? because I had this glitch in my memory. I thought it was O'Sullivan for some reason because there were O'Sullivans in Washburn, and. Uh, my friend Jack Gunderson bought the O'Sullivan place up Washington and then you go out Oak, Oak Road. Yeah. I was out there on Saturday and we were talking and so on. And I said, well, I thought for some reason that you were related to an O'Sullivan. Well, why didn't you tell him I was born in Slam Town, toughest girl down I told, I told him. He didn't, he didn't remember him. <laughs> so you're still kicking. Have you seen your tapes? No, have you looked at them? I don't have my, my tombstone. They were a terrific. Friend of mine I love those. A friend has been listening to those tapes. Huh? A friend of mine has been listening to it. Is that right? She said she never had such fun in her life as listening to Florence. <laughs> I might go to Hollywood. Could be. Yeah, but she involves me a lot in that, too. Sure. <laughs> I could tell you so well, we're going to talk to you, too, on I when? Tuesday? Monday? I used to have, have guys come in the star, and they'd say, who wants the star? Because I want a woman that's got money. <laughs> money and she wants it, and they'd say, I don't like her. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and she was just working there. And I told him to date her up. <laughs> His car drove around the house. Well, everything was nice. <laughs> That's, That's all right. So then when they Well see Mary, you can get even with her now. You can tell stories about her. <laughs> I don't know if anyone oh. could ever get even with her. She huh? always comes up with one better. She does? Yeah. You can never get even? This one guy was working on the store and he had a wooden leg to her. He's going to get in the car and he's going to get in one of these ships. He said, you're going to get in. She said, you're going to get in first. I said, no, I'm going to get in. And all the way up, was shifting. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't have any fun when you were young. I can see that now. <laughs> <laughs> that did a lot of bad things to me. <laughs> didn't I? What's that? I did a lot of bad things to me. I know you did. One time, a bowl of that box of cream that was in a pan. Oh. And he said, this went. doesn't work. This got straight. So she said, well, let me see. And she went like this, and she sprayed. You were just covered like a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you went like this. <laughs> well, how many years? Church. She reads the Bible every night. Oh, 
Well, think of all the time she has to spend looking after you, though. She has to. <laughs> She's got the Ten Commandments. She goes down and then I go up. She's trying to make me quit smoking. She takes good care of me. She's okay. <laughs> I never knew they had so many people in Bayfield. Oh, okay. Hey, oh, you the church. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to talk to us uh, Monday or Tuesday. Which, which day is it? We're going to see you. Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Go to your house? Yeah. We gotta pay to come in. On camera, if you want. That's right. So you guys gotta keep talking. Keep talking to us. <laughs> you go right in, you just go right through there. Yeah. On Hanson. Yes. We did some videotaping of you last year. Yes. You're not camera shy, are you? Are you camera shy this year? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm at home. <laughs> can't be. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Take me on the wires. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. Nice to see you again. Well, thank you. Yeah, nice to see you too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah how, did, how did those uh, did they all turn out? They turned out real nice. Uh, so, so you haven't seen yours yet, huh? Uh, you haven't seen no, yours? Oh, no. Well, they're in the library here. Oh, so I haven't yeah. been up the library. Well, no. Get someone to show them to you sometime. Yeah. Well, I have to see it. They're very good. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I didn't think it would be with me on that. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Yeah. <laughs> was that the first time you'd ever been filmed? Mm, no, not exactly. No? No. So, the one once before. Once before? Yeah. But it wasn't like that lady who just took, uh, just took her ahead of the record, you know. To, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a lot of fun. Well, I don't for know. us. <laughs> <laughs> was it for you? Was it fun for you? Well, in some ways. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad you could come back this year. Yeah, thank you. It's yeah. nice to see you again. So, so yeah. Well, that's all you need. Can you hear your TV? Yeah. Well, then you can do that. <laughs> Has Janet talked to you? He works with Mary. Janet Bueller is marrying. Marion. Marion. Yeah. 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 Going well, we'll work out a time and, you know, I think they did or something like that, too. 
for a couple hours. That's right. Let me get Janet. We can talk. We can work it out. Now. We can sort of say when you're free and not free. Okay. Right. Janet, can you work out a time? Sure, I have seen you. Now you're, now you're. Oh, excuse me. No, I have always been a member of the yacht club. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I did meet you once yeah, before. Sure yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I remember all this. Well, sometime when you want to go, like, give me a call. Or give John. Uh, right. Yeah, what I do, I get together. <laughs> I usually drive down alone, but there's no reason to take somebody with me. By the way, it'll be fun. I ran in. You just have fun. We don't, you know, it's not, it doesn't hurt. Thank you. Your neighbor at the, uh, at the, uh, at the motel. Oh, Hansley? Hansley. Yeah. Verdane? Verdane. And, uh, he well, we've been trying to keep it. We haven't even done everybody in this area. He told me he was going to take uh, some time off. Been, He's got, they so worked so well, hard on that motel. They've done a lot there, you know. It's, it needed a lot of work. Well, yeah, that's right. But, uh, but uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
last year. Yeah. Have you seen the tapes? Are we doing as many people as we can? And then my sister and I, we, we don't agree on a darn thing that's just gone. Is that right? Yeah. I, I'm not as argumentative. Are you going to be here today or not? Uh, no. No. Oh. Well, say hello to him for you. Can you talk to him? Yes, so they have a gastrointestinal fatigue and a heart attack. some sort of wrench, some particular wrench, and he said he couldn't find it, and he said, you know, even Alvis Moe didn't have it. Yeah, that's right. It was a, a 12 point socket. Five, five I, I said, if, if, if Alvis doesn't have it, they haven't made it. <laughs> I, had, I had 11, 30 seconds. Oh, is that right? Yeah. But I didn't he, have it. Did well, he finally get what spot. he was looking for? I don't know if he did or not. Really he was repairing an engine or something. And, uh, I don't know what at breakfast this morning, he said, no. he, he looked, it's the only time I've been that far out where you guys used to live and everything. I've been to Mary's place. I've been, been to Mary's cabins before yeah, a couple exactly. times, but, yeah. but yeah. never... Uh, How's it going? Well, somebody asked me that the other day, and I said, 20 years ago, I could hit the ball farther with my golf bag than I can with my car. Yeah. Landing came down there, you know, and then. Where the hell didn't you leave us there? Yeah. Yeah. Put the tee in. So I made a one about that long, you know, that I put a hole in it so that you could put that. The tee in there, you know, that high. Must have been that high that you got there. Did you turn it on the leaf? Sure. So, uh, well, they don't make any sense. The T extension? You don't use those, do you? I should have brought it along. No, that's right. Well, I'm so glad we got it on tape and, uh, you know, in the pictures. And, uh, Jan is so we have a record of it in my partial record. Yeah. Yeah, see, they got their picture now. Yeah. Remember the 
flag going up, and then when they yeah, so had my uh, that bus no. carrier there, yeah, yeah. No, it's, a, it's, it's for the uh, Chautauqua. And my wife says, don't bring the dog back. We don't know if you have any fish in there, you know. And uh, so uh, we got all ready to go, you know, yeah. and put it down. We were all done for the year. So I says, uh, Tony, I says, one thing you got to do before you leave, what's that? I well, said, take me a warning up call. there yeah, well, and get rid of the sink. He told me he's going to stop in something. Yeah. But I said, bury her up there so I don't find her. Bury her. So he come back. He says, I come put her bring her back again. Is that right? Yeah, I bet. Remember the little guy was there, your boy was but there? But you're doing all right? Yeah. Mickey and uh, Larry, yeah. they were with us. Yeah, of course. When I come back, he yeah. says, uh, yeah. what did you, what did you I kill? I only met him briefly. <laughs> I didn't get a chance, unfortunately, to, to know him. <laughs> Went in the house and says, Dad, he says, uh, uh, Tony killed a pickle pine. <laughs> 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 that was my two boys. Yeah, them were nice days on Sand Island. Yeah. Yeah. Rainy days we molded lead. Yeah. So, <laughs> I still, I still know my <laughs> Every time you stop to talk, I can't think of anything to talk about. <laughs> well, Ed, you're not getting us into the ravine this year. <laughs> you never be satisfied to get you in the ravine. You got to see it. We were in the ravine last year. No, you we didn't go all the way. Ravine. You were on the top of the ravine. We were down in the gully. You got to get down on the bottom see what the hell is going on. Yeah. Well, wait till the, the mosquitoes get a little better. Yeah, if wait till this fall and the leaves are off, you can see better. <laughs> you have to have an excuse to come back here. Don't That's you? right. Huh? Yeah. No, I don't need an excuse. No. Well, but you have to have a purpose to come back. I have to have a that purpose. Yeah, good. that's right. <laughs> well, it's good to be back. Boys. Have you looked at your tapes over at the library? Yeah, we had a home. Uh, we looked at three of them, I guess. What do you think? Pretty good. Yeah? It's kind of funny to sit here and watch yourself yes. and shoot the breeze, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I bet she thought I was going to say the other word. <laughs> well, the other word's on the tape anyway, yeah. as I recall. I you know, uh, one of my... What surprised me the most was, uh, I used the word, God damn, God damn. Yeah. <laughs> well, you do my, my wife was kind of embarrassed about it for a while. <laughs> Well, you just, that's the way you talk with oh, yeah. the hell. I mean, sure. not going to change it just for... Nope. Too damn late in life now to change. <laughs> you still got that deal going where we might, uh, 30th of March next year, hang one on. Is that still in the cards? It's still uh, leading that way a little bit. Oh, uh oh, I think there's a little equivocation down here. Are you going to, huh? 80 years old. Uh, Hang one on, well, we're going to have to be here for that. Well, uh, or don't you want it recorded? I don't know yet. He's around to help me out, maybe. I'm only four years off. You're only four off? Well, oh, you say 76? Christ, you're just a kid yet. You know what? You're 79 in? I'll be 80 and next time around. Yeah. How come everybody says that one guy is only five months older than him? Which is, he's just a kid yet. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you going to throw this drunk? I don't know yet. I suppose he's got to start in Maggie's. That's where I got my start year. I killed him about 60 years ago. That's right. When, they say, when the blind oh, people boy. were down there, we used to drink home beer. What's the date? March 30th, 19. 90. All right. Well, we got to be leading that way now. I don't know. I'll, I'll be drinking Coke, kid. Maybe. Yeah. maybe. <laughs> what does your wife say about it? Uh, she's a little bit disturbed. Yeah. <laughs> there she is right oh, there. Oh. Well, we won't talk too loud then. <laughs> she knows about it, but she uh, she don't think highly of it. <laughs> so has anything happened in the year we've been gone that uh, we've missed? Well, you yeah, should have gone to San Island with us last Tuesday. What happened? Boat sunk out there. Went out to raise that. What, what kind of a boat? There's an 18 footer sank there in the northeast there about uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, we went out and put some slings on it. Speedboat or a sailboat? Good speedboat. Yeah. So we picked up a load of dredging there at Anderson. So we move along a little bit. You know. 
When are you going to retire? You ever stop to think of the amount of time you're going to spend a marble orchard up here? That's when I'm going to retire. <laughs> marble orchard? Well, cemetery, what the hell, marble orchard? Did you ever hear that phrase? No, I didn't. Huh? Sure, marble orchard. Sure. That'll be it, huh? That'll be it. What happened on this marble orchard deal, though? Well, we were logging Otter Island back in 1950. We always bought our groceries uh, from Fine Art National, see? And every morning he'd come in and I said, where you been? Well, he said he'd been Marble Urchin, up to Marble Urchin. I kept it on for about six months. I said, what the hell you, maybe you got the Marble Urchin. Well, he said I had a young boy that died about six years. Bingo right away quick, I think. He made the trip every morning out to the but he called the cemetery a marble orchard all the time. Which is a marble orchard, no, but it's marble. No. Hey, grew up in a few of her. Get me, get the movie star. She just walked in. Yeah, I got it. Seems that way. He seems in real good spirits today. She has all the kids are home now. Yeah. She said they're going down this weekend now they to look at the tapes. We did it with her last year. Yeah. Yeah, we did an afternoon with her. I looked at the She looked at yours too. So has anyone anyone made any comments about huh? what'd they say? We got to get the Sanders from Louisiana even. He wants to get a hold of this week. The guy used to all the outer island and the hundred yeah. island. So did anybody give you any help? Or? No. No. Only his wife thought I was a little bit rough on the night. Oh, every once in a while I think of that first statement. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> well, born up and raised next to a little you know. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. Where are you going, Neil? Shirley? Get over here, Shirley. Get some air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other than that, everything has been going pretty good. Damn okay. busy summer. Is that right? A lot of work to do. Are you still dredging out at Santa Ana? Yeah, we got to make a lot of uh, three, four more trips there yet. How much have you taken out of there? Uh, I wouldn't want it on tape because it's. You only pay attention to the yardage, Joe. Don't play that, baby. All right. Shall we say more than you've been paid for? I'd say that, yeah. <laughs> I'd say I've been paid well for what I've taken off. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. There's only a certain amount to get on a permit to see. So the DNR watches you pretty close. Well, I'll never forget that ride you gave me on the shovel. Yeah. There's a lot more rides left. Anytime you want to feel free to come down, we'll take you for another ride. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Yeah. How long you be up on that? Give her a while back. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, you ever I used to work on the oil boats, you know? He's an old timer here. The freighters. You know, they're all in the down the lake. The door, but he don't know where we're all going. They're all run by steam. Stuff, steam you know. engine. Well, what do you want to set it for? They steam, they burn coal. <laughs> you set it somewhere, then you can't, of coal, you know, can't drink it. From the head of the lake down to the lower lake. They had two firemen. Well, it's good to be there. The big door and the boiler, and they were just a bail in that coal in there. But anyway, they used to take a five-minute break, you know, in between. So I've been but anyway, they had a gauge, just having you know, fun. The crew came up yesterday and they just started shooting They looked at that gauge and it went down about we five got people pounds. To do, the other guys say, people. give her a wabash. We didn't get before. And we opened up the door, you know, and wham, you know, wham. That we got them yet to go, yeah. I see. Roger, he was close enough to the charcoal there, so he said, give him a wabash. Yeah, that's what he told me. Give him a wabash. I think tomorrow. He's a good cook, More that guy. Right. Up at his place. He beat chef. He a cook. He's I know chef. it. He's a chef. I know. Chef. Well, is there a difference? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> cook is a female, you know, but a male is a chef. Oh, that's <laughs> why I didn't know that. Post office here in Alaska. You're getting smart now. <laughs> I mean, that's the older you, you get, get the more you learn. Smart. Yeah. 
<laughs> Get him in trouble. <laughs> he brings that up again. I'll tell you now, how do you guys know each other? Oh, God. <laughs> it dates way back. When, yeah, when Ed was on the, uh, what was it? The Lullaby? Lullaby Furniture. Days, yeah. 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 But the first days, I went to work for Lullaby Furniture for two weeks in 1945. I stayed there 16 years till we got through logging and then I bought the rigs out. But he's been, I've been in his hair <laughs> and he's been in mine, so we're doing all right. But you still talk? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, I mean, we're mellowing a little bit. I mean, you are. We may have had. You want me to get Don Sanders out here? You know. What's the cause of that? <laughs> well, I mean, age does that to you, you know. Age does something. Him and Sanders and uh, Mary, they love the Park Service like, uh, I don't know what. Well, well, how did the Park Service cross you up? Were, were you out at Sand or which island? You want, to, want me to really start on that? <laughs> well, yeah. Truly? Are you prepared to listen for a half hour? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, they took, first of all, they took both York Island and my main shore property under a an act of taking, which is more or less a summary condemnation, yeah. and which freezes the valuation at that period, at that now, time. Now, what year was on, this? As of that date. When was this? You don't. Well, 1974 for the island, and uh, a couple years later for the main shore property. In order to take a property under the act of taking. The uh, National Park Service had to go before the Department or the House Interior Committee and tell them they have to have this for some reason. In the case of the island, it was because I'd started to log it. And that's another story. I had to log it. It, it was a catch-22 situation. They told me that the timber on York Island had no commercial value. And they weren't allowing me anything for the timber. The only way I could prove that they were wrong was to... So we... And Ed hauled uh, something like, what was it, about 200,000 feet, or 260 or 70,000 feet of yellow birch veneer logs off the island. So that, that, they had, that gave them an excuse to take it under an act of taking, don't you see? You that wasn't win so bad. I, I, I say it was a catch-22 thing. And uh, it was agreed at a meeting that in as much as a tree severed from the stump is personal property, and the Park Service bill specifically stated that the uh, United States government, or the National Park Service, had to pay for removal or moving of personal property, they would stand the cost of removing that those logs from the island. That was right in meeting, right down at the Park Service headquarters. But when it came to court, because I had made money on the venture, I had to pay for it. So Ed, I had paid him all this time. I was going to be reimbursed by the Park Service. Ed got $9,750 out of me that the Park Service should have paid, and I didn't. So anyway, then, when it came to the main shore, they took that under an act of taking because they really, what they really wanted was the town of Russell grounds there. That's down by Little Sand Bay. Right, Little Sand Bay. See, my property adjoined that. Mm -hmm. But because there was a rather vociferous group in the town of Russell spearheaded by Alden Allen that was unalterably opposed to giving, the town of Russell giving that property to the Park Service, their only alternative was to move over to my 2,300 feet of frontage there and take that. No malice intended. They specifically stated that. In, in, uh, <laughs> but they went to the House Interior Committee. They permitted them to take it under an act of taking. In both cases, it, it mattered to about, I lost probably at least 40% of appreciation and value because it froze it right as of that date, don't you see? Right. So if, I mean, if I'm a little... Uh, now, when did they ta actually take it from you? Then? What year? They took it. Right the day They served... Uh, the papers. The uh, federal warden served papers on me. As a matter of fact, what it was so was bad on the main shore, we had a residence there, 
I, they gave me 90 days to get out of there, but we did get an extension. We got six months extension. But the thing of it is, here, if they didn't do it with malice, half or thought, how come they never developed it? I mean, today it sits there just exactly as it was when we moved the house off there. And, it and what are they using it for? They aren't using it for anything. They built a log crib that they built up from the island. Here. But they were going to develop it. That's where their headquarters were going to be, over on my 2300 feet. And that's the truth, and I can verify it. Not a damn thing you know. Well, we were out on Sand Island, and we went to all the places where, that had been taken, too, but from everyone. And it, uh, well, it was a beautiful now place. Just I Alma, rarely someone here back. just I told can't. me, Alma Dole, I think, said, now they're trying to get tourists, want to truck tourists back into Sand Island, so they use it. Right Now they want more people to come. First they... Oh, well, look, the whole huh? thing, I mean, I mean they, what's they, the they spoke out of both of sides it? of the mouth for the, from the first. The Apostle Islands are a unique thing. Unique, I mean, that's one of a kind. You have nothing to compare it with. So how are you going to, uh, to uh, establish property values in the first place? On top of that, the reason they took it was because of the unique factor. They wanted to perpetuate my brother and I. What are we doing here? Tape it? Oh. <laughs> Mm. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah. I saw that clutch coming in. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm no, no, no Maurice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's really good to see you guys again. Good to see you. Yeah. Is Bobby around? What is he standing there with anything oh, he's, he's practicing. He's practicing. Bobby, uh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, yeah, I think then you used to just you you and Mel used to go oh, out there. Oh yeah, we used right? to. Go. Yeah. And you'd sit at oh, home and while, worry. I take oh. care of little Haley, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I want some I want some space. Yeah. That's a good word. Space. Yeah. Yeah. Room. <laughs> Room. Space. Space from him. <laughs> that too. <laughs> 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 that's I right. think that's why he goes to Rocky. Well, of course, His that space is. is out there. Yeah. Well, that's all right. You know, yeah. Works both ways. Now, yeah, have you guys sure. seen the tapes that we did last year? No. I'm sorry to say that I haven't. Well, seen you better them. get over I and don't see know those. That I want to. <laughs> I don't know that I want to. But well, you're an old veteran of this. You've been in the wild roads. You were in troubled waters. Well, when know. do I get another one assignment? <laughs> well, you're, right you're now. You're my, my uh, <laughs> director. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, well, we, we have to, everything. well, we have to wait till Tom gets another part and we can cast you again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> have you seen Tom lately? Yeah. No. Yeah, he and I keep... Oh. You must keep you on it when you have it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the water comes out and just spills it. Like I said, that was sweet. Sweet hill, nothing but raspberries. It's so great that you guys can all be in the Heidi State or in the Bobby. Yeah, I know. So I bet you quit picking raspberries at 3.30. And his wife. Send me to go swimming. Uh, it's him, the kids. You don't want to have kids or you don't know? Maybe she didn't check out right. I don't know. They never say the kid goes to Washington, D.C., you know, and they don't tell you what to expect to hear anything else. <laughs> I don't know when, but usually, usually they play, uh, uh, when I go in there, the uh, trollers, they're playing cards around 4 o'clock. I follow those little uh, bugs that are around. Those gnats? Or? No, not gnats. Hey, what are those bugs that bite you against? Ticks. Oh, God, yes. Stay away from those. Oh, there's so many of them. They're everywhere. You have to watch the deer tick or you yeah. get that Lyme disease. I know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the hotels around here. A lot of smart kids. Uh-oh. Look out for this guy. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Am I ever glad? They're lining up for food in there, so you better get in there and give up on you. You know, it's well. It's I just rang it. <laughs> they're they're lining up for food, so it's on the table. And, uh, you don't want to miss out. Oh, it's a feast.
That's right. <laughs> them to come forth with what they talk about and, and uh, but I have learned more about individuals that are still here yeah. that we are dealing with and you, and you really they don't know where everybody is coming from they, it, it, it just I thought Flossie Schofield was absolutely wonderful you know what I'm trying to do and you may be able to help me do you remember this movie that you talked about called The Thunderbirds yeah we've been trying yeah have you, is it, actually we were talking about that last night saying, because I wanted to get 